good morning everybody happy friday tgif it is july 17th i know i haven't checked in with you guys for a while me and stewie have actually been home since july 2nd i am just getting on the road let me click that off i'm just getting on the road and we'll be out for a while but um we left home it's about 9 30 in the morning um, I'm here at a Sam's Club picking up my empty trailer to head to my first load. And this will be my first clip. This time when I'm home, I made a mental note to be a lot better at making clips and checking in with you guys. So we're going to see how I do over these next couple months. But I remembered when I got here to pick up the phone, Desiree. Say something to the people. I hope everybody's been doing well. Um, and staying safe and healthy with the whole COVID-19 thing still going on. I know it's gotten better because the hospitals have gotten better at caring for people, but we still are losing lives every day. People are getting sick. So I wish all of you guys um, health and wealth and happiness and all the other normal stuff. But right, right about now, most of all, just health. I'm kind of just looking over this side of the trailer. I have to still pull out of the dock and see how dirty it is and blow it out before I pull out from here. But um, I will continue to check in with you guys. I'm headed to, why can't I think of the name? Smithfield, no, no, no. Sanford, North Carolina to pick up my load. And that's going to, um, South Carolina can't think of the name of the city right off the top of my head but it's only about a 200 mile run um, so I'm picking my load up today and I'll drop it off tonight um, for my first load out but I will definitely continue to check in with you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get my landing gear rolled up get my glad hands plugged in but um, I will definitely try to check in when I get to my next location or whatever. I'm really hoping that I can fulfill my thought process of checking in more regularly. Because I definitely miss posting. I know I get a lot of DMs and emails and comments on YouTube, like on older videos, asking me, um... When am I going to post another video? And I have been so bad at it, but I'm going to actually make a co conscious effort uh, this time. So we'll see how that goes, but I will talk to y'all soon. Hey guys. Well, I made it to my receiver. You can see two tanks right there. And they just called me to tell me I'm unloaded. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, and I'm in Newberry, South Carolina. I know South Carolina got that high COVID count, so I ain't trying to catch nothing, although I put my mask on no matter where I go, but just walking in here, it's not usual that you get an up, high up view of everything, but just checking in. I forgot to check in when I got to my shippers, but I remembered here, so I'll talk to you guys later along the way. Don't know where I'm going next, but... I'm going to go shut down for the night. Hey guys, another day of me remembering to pull out my phone. I'm kind of proud of myself so far, but I'm here in Clinton, South Carolina. It is freaking hot out here, man. <sighs> but I'm picking up my load. I'm at Sterilite, picking up a dry load. It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon on Saturday happy saturday guys and i'm headed to michigan <clears throat> i have to be in michigan at like well my load is a dropping hook on the receiving end so i can be there any time between midnight on monday and 11:59 p.m on monday but i'm gonna try to get there at midnight so i can use all of monday to be getting another load um i'm about 700 miles away from michigan so i'll be driving 
um, through the night, get as many miles chopped off of that as possible in this drive shift. I was only 20 miles away to even get here, parked at a Love's. So I still have most of my um, drive clock, like 10 hours and 15 minutes um, left to drive and it shouldn't really take them that long. It don't seem like it takes long here to get loaded. So I'll be driving for most of the night and then I'll finish my few little miles tomorrow and drop this load. Yes, it's check in at my door 212 like halfway down the building but um, yeah I just thought I would check in I had a long walk to go from where you park your truck to where you check in so I figured I would come on here and say what's up and do my check-in while I was walking but I will talk to y'all later because now I gotta pull my truck into the dock they gave me have a good day guys I will check in with you along the way peace What's up y'all? So I just finished getting loaded, but right when they come tell me you're all done, it starts freaking pouring. And I get a message from Google talking about a thunderstorm alert in the county. But ain't got no choice but to walk in the rain, right? To get my bills and I need to check my seal. But um, six, four, eight, yep, that's good enough for me but i hope everybody's doing good i'm hitting the road um where else i was coming again oh michigan michigan here i come i'll let y'all later bye what's up y'all happy monday um I forgot to make a clip when I got to my receiver this morning, but I made it there. Can y'all see Stewie? You know, he'll never be worried about what we doing. He busy. Um, I don't know what he's busy doing. He's pulling me around this dry grass patch. But um, anyway, so I made it to Michigan this morning, dropped my load at a Walmart, had some struggles today has been a long productive non-productive day and I say that because I did a lot today I did a lot of driving but for a whole lot of nothing going all kinds of crazy miles out my way to pick up an empty somewhere that no empties existed there but end up getting to my next load picked it up I'm in Ohio right now it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I dropped my load about 2 o'clock and came like 10 miles to this truck stop to shut down. But my load that I'm on, <laughs> there's two, well, that's the trailer hooked to two tanks. But the load that I'm on um, is a two-stop load. The next half of the load was supposed to, well, it is going to Raleigh, North Carolina. But, uh... I'm not going to be taking it there because with all the nonsense, shenanigans that was going on with the night dispatcher sending me all kind I don't know if it's his fault or sales fault or who fault it was, but doing the most when initially I was at Walmart dropping my load, no empty trailer to pick up. So I said, can I bobtail to my next destination? Because, you know, I had this time limit thing going on where I needed to shut down by noon today in order to make it to North Carolina tomorrow morning on time to drop this low because it's 600 miles between me and North Carolina right now. Um, and he was like, no, go all the way out this way. We'll pay you to go out this way, get it empty. And if you can fuel this loaded trailer while you're there. And I was like, okay. I could do that because I started early enough this morning where I would have still been able to pick my load up by 7 and get here to Ohio, which was a little under four hours, and still be able to shut down on time. But none of that ended up, I mean, I went to the place, but 
wasn't no empty the loaded trailer that needed fueling wasn't even loaded it was broke i'm just like all the information was wrong it was shenanigans today but i did a lot so that's why i say productive but non-productive in the fact that i still didn't make it i made it to my second stop okay or the first stop for me on time by the appointment time but i didn't make it early enough to be able to shut down at noon so somebody else is coming to take the trailer from me and um get it the rest of the way to north carolina by the morning so that's where the non-productive part comes in but it is what it is i did what i can it ain't my fault you know because i kept telling them if i don't shut down by this time i'm not gonna make it but um yeah but i did a lot of driving all half of it was for nothing but uh i just wanted to come check on because i forgot to come check on here check on here check in with y'all it's hot y'all i forgot to check in when i got to walmart to kind of complete my um my little clip series to put my video out but uh i remember once i got here i was like well at least let me check it's the same, still the same day but i'm checking in with y'all now i don't know where i'm heading next since this guy's gonna be bringing me an empty trailer and taking that trailer um and my i'm on my 10 hour break at this point so i don't know i haven't got pre-planned yet so i'm not sure where my next low will be going but i'm sure it'll be coming through sometime this evening um but i hope everybody's having a good monday be safe be productive and have a good day talk to y'all later on the next the next one. Oh, and if anybody somebody actually over the a while over the course of some months maybe up to a year a few people have asked me to take driving footage of me driving in a mountain so i was able to do that on the way from on my last load because i did westbound i-40 you know when you're coming from north carolina into tennessee you go through the mountains um so i was able to or remember to like set up my camera in the truck so when i got to a certain point i could just hit play so if anybody or if you're the one of the people that asked for that footage i'm gonna throw it in at the end of this video it's only because i you know how i speed it up I think it'll only be like four or five minutes, but if you want to watch it, it'll be at the end of this video. <sighs> a flying bug. I don't know what that was, but it didn't look good. But um, <laughs> if you're not one of those people and you don't care about watching it, well, you can cut the video off here because this is where I am done and I'm going to bed soon, probably. I don't know, but I'm done. Have a good day, guys. Peace.